Another story developing this afternoon. Ford says it is canceling plans to build a $1.6 billion plant in Mexico. Instead, they're investing $700 million in creating 700 jobs to expand their capacity at existing facilities. The factory will see the most benefit will be Flat Rock, Michigan. And at that plant, Ford CEO Mark Fields joins us now. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Mr. Fields, I want to ask you, you're not going to build this plant in Mexico, but how influenced were you by the president-elect, and who else did you decide to consult with? Well, overall, the reason, Rena, that we're not building the plant in uh, the new plant in Mexico is we've seen a market decline in the demand for small vehicles in North America. So we were originally going to put our next generation focus in that plant. We've now decided to put it into an existing facility in Mexico. And that's really the main reason why we decided not to build the plant. We just don't need the capacity anymore. Uh, sir, let me ask you, how much of the new administration, the dynamic of President-elect Trump's administration, will factor into business decisions that you will make going forward at Ford? Well, as you look at the announcements that we made today around the $700 million investment at our plant here in Flat Rock, where I'm at today, as well as the addition of 700 jobs over the next uh, couple of years, adding to the 28,000 jobs that we've created here in the U.S. over the last five years, we look at a lot of different factors. We do what's right for the business. But one of the factors that we look at is what we expect to be a more positive U.S. manufacturing business environment under President-elect Trump and also looking at the pro-growth policies and reforms, both tax and regulatory reforms that he's been talking about. So it is a consideration and it's a, a vote of confidence that he'll be able to deliver on those things. We know, sir, during the campaign trail, Donald Trump was very critical of your announcement to move, to expand in the Mexico plan. You've said that no jobs in the U.S. were going to be affected by this. But I'm curious, do you have any advice for other CEOs who could possibly be potentially shamed by the new incoming president over their business decisions? Well, the only advice have, uh, I have is, is obviously focus on your business. That's what we're doing here at Ford. We're, we're focusing on the facts. We're focusing on what the right thing for our business is because we have to answer to our shareholders. And at the same time, look at a lot of the business environment factors. And at the end of the day, do what's right for your business and taking into account the business environment. Mr. Fields, did you get an opportunity to speak to the president-elect or uh, the vice president-elect at all this morning? We did have the opportunity this morning to uh, speak to both the president-elect and also the vice president-elect uh, Pence. And we talked about the announcements that we are making today. And they were very pleased that we were investing here in our facilities in Michigan and adding on the jobs and basically adding on to the leadership position that we have in the, here in the U.S. because we are the number one producer of vehicles in the United States today and we're the number one employer of hourly workers here in the United States today. All right, President and CEO of Ford, Mark Fields, thank you so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. All right, thank you, Vlad.